This man isn't a speedster on the information superhighway, but he's very good on these back roads. And when he reaches the water, he drops his bundle for the next bloke to pick up. This is old communications technology, but it still works. Morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if any. Welcome aboard motor vessel Hawkesbury Explorer. We can cruise with us this morning as Australia's last riverboat postman. Australia Post is the only service which reaches every single one of our 7 million addresses around the country. But these days when we write to a friend, it's more likely to be on a card, if we do it at all. The personal letter has become an endangered species, along with the postie and his bike, or boat. Australia Post take their slogan, we deliver, pretty seriously. Here on Sydney's Hawkesbury River, this mail boat makes daily deliveries to waterbound local residents. But what is the future of Australia's postal service? More and more of our post is simply bills or junk mail. And as electronic mail spreads farther and faster, does the humble letter still have a role to play in our lives? Almost all the letters Leanne delivers, the bulk of Australia Post's business, are bills. But electronic mail is growing and now bills can be paid in other ways. Our best communications brains are telling us that letters and even posties could be gone in just five years. And how long before I write a letter to my mum from my home to her home on a computer? If you're comfortable with it, it uh, was in two or three years if you wanted to. And how long before we all communicate electronically like that, business to home, home to home? I think probably around about the year 2010. Australians are taking to technology like the first settlers took to rum. Right now, more than two million computers live in Australian homes, and that will double by the year 2000. Many of us already have email. We can write and transmit to businesses in America and Auntie Ethel around the corner within seconds. We can pay our bills on our home screen. We can communicate with the world. And the computers will, in fact, uh, become readily available. You'll see the computers actually becoming a combination of telephone, fax, television, printer, and even an FPOS machine. All of those things rolled in together. And again, I don't think that's too far away. I think that's within two or three year time frame in terms of seeing those sorts of machines actually being made. To keep up, Australia Post is getting groovy. Slick corporate videos showcase the glamorous new post office where you can do everything from pay your gas bill to organise a passport or even buy a stamp. And out the back, postal workers are being retrained to operate more than $100 million worth of sophisticated hardware. It's designed to move Australia Post into new territory. The EDPost system takes account information from businesses like Sydney Electricity on data tapes and then prints and mails out the bills to customers. In just one hour, they can mail out 10,000 accounts. What's happened this morning, Sydney Electricity delivered a, a tape to us. We put it into our computer system. We've converted and validated their data, which is all the information they collected when they went around reading the metres yesterday. We will then turn that today through our printers into an electricity account for all the households to go out and to be delivered on Monday through our posties out of the post offices. But every step forward has newer technology on its heels. More and more of us will begin to take care of business transactions and bill paying on our home screens. That would make Eddie Post, today's cutting edge technology, out of date in just a few years. Once you have the capability to do the printing inside a home, then there's really no need to do the printing inside a mail service centre. Uh, so it's just a matter of when will that technology be available in the home and enable you to do the printing. This Sydney legal firm is trialling a new document exchange system. They can transfer files and letters to each other on a secure electronic network, which allows them to cut out the delivery middleman. But will this sort of technology ultimately save paper or even make life easier? Emailing to the other side of the world is a lot, you know, 
um, quicker than writing a letter, whatever. I argue that, yes, it does decrease the amount of time per task, but does that really benefit us? In studies that I have seen, it actually frees us up for other tasks. So the pace of life is increasing.